What's going on collectors optical 20 back for another video review this time it's the answer bay one ninth hoop and you're asking yourself why am I reviewing this again I already reviewed this maybe like four years ago or three years ago uh the reason being is that YouTube decided to uh you know put me a strike on that video and I'm, I'm gonna leave, delete that soon because I used the Chicago Bulls theme song so I'm not gonna use it this time but uh yeah so I, I decided to reshoot it you know maybe reshoot it in 4k so there you go, so you can see there's a flag. This is the difference between this and the Storm Collectibles or even the uh, Enter Bay. It comes at least with some stickers on it. It didn't come with the uh, the NBA Hoop sticker there though. Uh, as you can see from uh, the close-up of this backboard, it does have that orange light, sort of when the shot clock goes off or you know when the time expires, this one's supposed to light up. Obviously it doesn't light up on this, on this court right here in this hoop in this hoop set because it doesn't have any batteries but it's a good thing that they replicated that because again if you do photoshop and you want that to light up you can easily crank up the uh intensity of this in photoshop you just select that color put it right up maybe it, maybe it'll match up with the uh with the uh, rim right there which is it's not snapback as well compared to the storm collectibles rim for one six which is snapback this one isn't but as you can see here it is nicely done i should have bought two of these honestly but it and you can see there's a three-point contest rack, uh, ball rack in here as well for for uh, three-point competition when it's all-star game. For those who are not familiar, it does come, I believe, with two balls. Uh, two balls, yes. Uh, the other balls, I got them from some of my figures because I do have the complete lineup of the Wave 1 of the Enter Bay 1-9, which is I didn't get the Wave 2. The Wave 2 is mostly the Bulls players, which I already had them in 1-6. So maybe down the line, I would get them as well because they're they're nicer to this. Not nicer, but they take up less space to display compared to the 1.6 counterpart. And what you see here, I wanted the uh, 1.6 version of the hoop set for Enter Bay, but they're just too damn expensive. It comes with a working shot clock as well compared to the uh, Storm Collectibles. As you can see here, uh, I'm just going to make this nice and quick since you maybe you've seen my old review. You and There's nothing really to review here. It comes with this huge pole as well, which I would use later on. But this is just a size comparison to the 1/9th James Harden. Uh, nice, you know, nice scale right here uh, to the 1/9th hoop set as well. I guess I can call them 1/9th. I think that's what they call them, the 1/9th hoop scale. Uh, is it a perfect scale? It's a weird scale, honestly, because normally it's 1/6 or 1/12. But, you know, it is what it is. So here he is compared to the 1 6 scale um, Storm Collectibles hoop set. Uh, this is obviously nicer, the, the plastic that they use on the black part. On Storm Collectibles, it's like hollow and just plastic. There's some kind of like rubbery texture. Uh, you can see on the rim, it's nicely constructed. At least it, it ha does have the flag. It doesn't have the NBA logo on it. Both doesn't have the shot clock. Uh, the net is something that I, I didn't even bother doing. And you can see LeBron James is higher than, than um, James Harden. It's because I used the pole that came with the rim. It's it's a lot higher. It's a lot taller. So you can put them in like a dunking pose or any poses that you might desire. Uh, this is specifically for that reason. It doesn't come with that magnet. So you got to take out that magnet from a figure and kind of slide it in there. But, you know, it, it's pretty fairly easy to do. And it looks great in my opinion and it it's not that bad price wise compared to the 1.6 which is almost 300 dollars this was i believe 120 uh when it was released you can't buy them now you have to go to ebay but it, it looks nice so let me know in the comments what you think about this set are you gonna pick this up or not follow me on instagram and facebook and twitch and i'll see you guys in the next review